Hello, babes. How are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is another celebrity tarot again. The long sheet of requests, but anyways, what this said, we're gonna be talking about Bad Bunny, but we're gonna be talking about if he. This a rumor, right? Allegedly, and that he could have just put some witchcraft in his lyrics and his music. And we're going to find out, allegedly, that is true. So with this said, I want to remind you that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and that everything is going to resonate with everybody. And keep in mind that roles can be reversed between energies. Again, as I always say, I run no daycare. So everything said and mentioned in this readings is allegedly throughout the whole reading, as well as this is just and only for entertainment purposes only, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Holy moly. All energy. Oh, I got another card here. Anyways, it seems right here with the six so once in the reverse beginning here. Um, this is Leo Saturn's Aries. It seems right here that he, before everything, he started to do music normally. He was going places, like local places, but he wasn't, he wasn't doing enough and he wasn't, you know, being recognized as he wanted. It seems right here, allegedly, that he wanted to be recognized all over the places, all, all over the world. He wanted to be worldwide famous, powerful, and money. Again, this is just a kid who, you know, wanted to be famous. Again, like his biggest people that he's seen out there now it seems right here that his dream always came short like he tried he tried he tried and he yes he did he did have success success but it wasn't between puerto rico and the uh, dominican republic and he wanted to be again all over the world and he wanted to be very recognized and he wanted to have money power and da 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 now it seems right here that he allegedly i do feel like he did put some sort of like magic in his lyrics to to get people's attention because it seems right here that he made a, a decision when he was young again when he was like in the beginning of his career and after he made that decision and he, it's not talking about it but it says like there was some sort of magic involved here that's when positive changes rapidly happen that's when you the he was working with people who were very famous people wanted to give it opportunities people liking his songs he making very very uh, catchy uh vibes and very catchy songs and people you know start because he was kind of famous very quickly like the way that he remember back in the day how big and how famous he was um yes it was booming so at this point right here is telling me that yes allegedly yes there was magic here there was a witch somebody who did some work and everything in his music has has magic that's why once even people who don't speak spanish will sing it you know what i'm saying it's like it's like a, it's talking about a siren song that's what they did that kind of spell or that kind of situation of magical work that allegedly is in his music it seems right here that this was the resolution of his problems. The difficulties of growing, becoming famous was gone. He became very popular very quick and he started to get the fame recognition and success he always wanted. With the Queen of Spring right here, he also, again, he's also talented, but again, that did boost it. He started believing in himself. Um, he, want, he started like consulting this person more often, allegedly, and he was able to have a balance in between his work life and his in his personal life now i do see right here with the king of summers and the eight of winters right here i do feel like he energetically don't want to do it anymore he wants to continue to do music but he don't want to put the magic spells in the in the in the lyrics anymore so i do feel right here that that's why his songs are dropping a little bit because Yes, they're, they're good, but they're not booming as they used to because maybe the, the spell could be wearing off as well. 
um, he's also more matured and he realized that he just needs to work hard to, you know, get what he needs. He don't want to get any more shortcuts. Um, keep in mind that every spell that we do in life, as I always explain it when people ask me about it, by the way, do not do spells. Mm -mm, don't do them. Moving from that, as I said before, I always explain to people that when people do spells, there's always a price to pay. And I do feel like the price to pay for him is his unhappiness in his love life he's gonna always be in a way to perform unhappy um he will always love someone specific and i think we know who she is and he will never be with her so that's the price to pay so he allegedly had to choose uh love or love or fame and he went with fame so there's always a price to pay on this uh spells when people do them uh that is a price to pay once again and he is always going to be unhappy so now he could even have a relationship for years like two three four years but he's never going to be fulfilled there and he is never going to be there forever so he's always going to be jumping like bees and that's the price to pay that is the loophole the little the little the little uh writing in the contract that people don't read The price to pay is loneliness, meaning that he will never have uh, very good friends or friends that he could trust completely. And this could be also because there's people who want to betray him or himself not thinking that people's friendships are real. He's planning his next tour, his next music with the two ottoman reverse but his next tour music is not gonna do as well as he did because he's not putting the magic in his lyrics i do see right here that changes are happening in his career and it's actually quite stressing because again he was so famous and everything was doing so good and now that he don't want to do that everything is like not not going the way he expected it or he was used to it i do see like the 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 latino community is not supporting him anymore or as much and we all know is because he's dating kendall or hanging out with kendall whatever you guys want to call this i do see right here that he is about to have a big change in his life also it's going to be an awakening uh realizing what he has done or allowing him to maybe re redeem himself in a way to perform but i do see right here that he is going to have to pause what he does and try to do it better because I don't see him having the support he had before. I do see right here that he will need with the Justice Card Libra Energy to review his decision to, to make this go in a better light, to be honest. And last one right here. Is do talk is talking about um, him wanting to settle down. Him that wanting to settle down. But it's mentioning a girl who has like blonde hair or has light brown hair who he may settle down for. But I do feel like that marriage also is not going to last. No matter how much you want it, no matter how much he works on it, they're not going to last. Again, his price to pay for that spell that he did. And he is exactly given, exactly he got exactly what he wanted. Allegedly, of course, all of it is that he will never be able to stay in a relationship and they're not going to be happy, unfortunately. And no matter how much he wants it, he's always going to be like in, say, oh, I'm in an open relationship. It's not that. It's just like he can't settle down either or. He is having lack of commitment and it's something brought to him by like a consequence of that as well as, as well as not lasting in that relationship because the other person don't want it. At this point, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you follow me on Instagram, I follow back. I have a TikTok, a small group on Facebook, an upcoming project on my Patreon. I have a link in the description box below on every video for my readings. And with this said, thank you so very much, guys. I want to remind you that I do not offer any free readings or any services outside the giveaways for free. And I always always want to remind you that i never ever ever message anybody on any platform requesting or offering readings to anybody so with that said thank you so very much you guys have an amazing day